Celebrities, whether they're musicians, actors, or influencers, often get to enjoy the very best that life has to offer, be it the most exclusive of vacations, the fanciest homes, or the most expensive of cars. And rapper Gucci Mane is no exception. Anyone who knows him knows that Gucci is a very rich man, which naturally means he spends that money on some wonderful toys. Where does he get those wonderful toys? Or if you want to put it a different way, Gucci's all about those cars, man. In case you're not a car connoisseur, that's a clip of Gucci Mane's brand new 2020 Ferrari F8 Tributo, which is widely believed to be the only one in America at this point in time. And because he's Gucci, his whip's already been custom fitted to feature Red Wills with 1017, the name of Gucci's own music label, on the center caps. As its name implies, the Tributo is Ferrari's tribute to their award-winning V8 engine. The ride comes with a twin-turbo 3.9 liter V8 that delivers 720 horsepower and is able to go 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 2.9 seconds, while 124 miles per hour can be reached in 7.6. The base price for this car starts around 270 k but with Gucci's love for customization, you just know his cost more than that. And you know what? As nice as this car is, it's not even close to being the most expensive vehicle that Gucci owns. And why not? He's put in the work over the years and he deserves to enjoy the finer things in life. So today, I'm going to take you inside the main man's garage and show you several of his nicest cars that he's owned over the years. Hey guys and girls, it's Kara here for you with a brand new car tour and today we're taking a look at the collection of Gucci Mane and his wife Keisha Kior. It seems like year after year, Gucci reveals one newly tricked out ride after another, inspiring envy and adoration among other luxury car enthusiasts everywhere. So if that means you, then sit back and enjoy this look at the finer things in life. Or at the very least, Gucci's life. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me over on Instagram. Now let's get into this video. Since we already kicked things off with one of Gucci's Ferraris, let's take a look at a few more that he owns. First up, his Ferrari 458 Italia. Much like with his Tributo, Gucci was the very first person who had the distinction of receiving this car back in 2010. At the time he got it, Maine dressed out his 458 Italia in black and yellow Forgiato Aposti wheels to match the color of the car. He also liked to drive it around town every chance he got, but he was never too busy that he couldn't pull over and sign a few autographs for his fans. The 458 Italia features a V8 engine with 562 horsepower and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in 3.4 seconds with a top speed of just under 200 miles per hour. The car retails for around 240,000. Next up in Gucci's Ferrari collection is the 612 which retails for around 250k. When this car first launched, it was the closest thing that Ferrari came to making a luxury coupe while still managing to boast that world class performance the brand is so well known for. The car features a V12 engine engine for balanced performance, and because I know it's what you're all wondering, the 612 can blast off from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4 seconds and get all the way up to 200 miles per hour. It also has leather accessories and elegant trims along with just barely enough space for two fully grown adults. Alright, the final Ferrari in Gucci's garage that we're going to take a look at today is the 812 Superfast. There's apparently a three year waiting list for this car, but by this point we know that Ferrari doesn't make Gucci wait for anything. Much like with his other two Ferraris, Gucci was the first person in the US to own this beautiful marvel of modern day mechanical engineering. He purchased the car from Dr. Bugatti, a dealership that scouts exotic cars for a pretty penny. Also that's how he's doing it. And here I was thinking that Gucci just had a direct line to the president of Ferrari, like a bat phone or something. Except you know this one's for his cars, but I guess not. Too bad. It's just the hard work of a dealership. Gucci reportedly spent 600k on his Superfast, which contains a 6.5 liter V12 engine that reaches a top speed of 211 miles per hour. It's one of the fastest and most powerful Ferraris ever made. Of course, we all know what happens when we have nice things, especially in this gong show of a year that is 2020. And Gucci had to learn that the hard way with his Superfast. When he was in Miami performing at a nightclub, his whip got towed by a company that's notorious for moving cars for questionable reasons and charging insane fees to reclaim them. Needless to say, once Gucci found out, he wasn't too pleased. Tow my car up now. I want, I'll pay for all my damages for my car. From valet. After y'all booked me from the club. Illegally. Yes. I have an officer right here. We gonna see. 
$300 for the tow. I guarantee you this twenty, thirty thousand dollars worth of damage. Y'all done put my shit on the motherfucking flatbed. Fuck my car up. None of this shit was wrong with my car. I want every dime beach tow in Miami. Period. Gucci's car was damaged in the process at what he estimates was around twenty to thirty thousand dollars in damages, and he had to cough up three hundred bucks just to get his car back in the first place. This next car we're gonna take a look at is nowhere close to Gucci's most expensive, but the customization that he had done to his Dodge Challenger makes it worth a mention. His Challenger features a custom fitted wide body with black paint as the primary color to make the enlarged car look sleeker than it is, while red accents help provide a touch of exuberance and a pop of color to the ride. Despite the average cost of this car sitting around 30 k it's widely believed that with the epic customizations Gucci had installed, that his own Challenger cost closer to 150 k so like 5 times the price of the normal cost. The Challenger isn't the only Dodge that Gucci owns, he also has a Dodge Charger in his garage. But what makes this car that retails for around 65k special is that it's part of a three custom ride mini fleet that Gucci had customized with red paint and then dubbed his Red Bones collection. The trio is comprised of a Jeep Cherokee, the Dodge Challenger, and a Bentley Mulsanne. All three vehicles have been finished in a combination of a bright red orange paint with even deeper red accents and custom red rims. The Bentley Mulsanne is by far the crown jewel in this mini collection. That car can retail for as much as 300 k and is about as luxurious as modern day vehicles come. Finally, before we go, I thought we'd take a look at one more extremely luxurious car that Gucci owns. Or maybe I should say purchased. After all, it was a gift for his beautiful boss of a wife, Keisha Kior. Let's just say that Gucci knows how to treat his woman. I mean, seriously, just take a look at this thing. Gucci bought her that car to match her gown on her birthday last year, and then he even dressed to match the duo as well. As gorgeous as that car looks, I don't know what looks nicer, the car or Keisha. Wanna know how much Gucci dropped on this gift? Well, it was at least 300 k as that's the average retail price for that car. But come on guys, look at that customization. He spent way more than that. This SUV features a twin turbo V12 engine, floats on an adjustable air suspension, and can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in just 4.5 seconds. Alright guys, I think we're gonna end this video here. What did you guys think of the nicest cars in Gucci's garage? Let me know in the comments down below which one of these vehicles you would take off his hands if given the chance. Then when you're finished that, follow me over on Instagram. Alright, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!